what's up what's up so we got a case 570 here and i want to show you guys something so we got a code which is this light right here oh it almost went away it was blinking you see that and that was nice anyway so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this little diamond you're gonna hit the inner then you're gonna get to this hit enter and you're gonna scroll through like this so 3688 is our first code that's at 726 those are old so 724 and then 1022 so those codes as far as i understand are all related to water in the fuel and one is a uh, the ecm hasn't re received a signal from the uh water and fuel sensor so what i would do recommend right here is you're going to pop open the hood once you get this thing popped open, you're gonna go find your separator. There's oil, nope, nope, nope. Oh, wait, yep, down here. So there's your separator down there. What you're gonna do here, uh, I've got to lay on the ground. I'm just gonna get all these pricklies in my back, but it's okay. Okay, what you're gonna do here is, oh, look at that. No wonder I'm getting the code. You see that right there? There's your code. There's your problem right there. So, other than that, what I would recommend is this right here. Well, that was easy, so that was pretty cool. Is uh, loosen this up. When you loosen this up right here, you can actually drain, right? And you can check the contaminant quality. So you can see how much water is in there. I'm not gonna drain it because I don't wanna dump diesel all over the ground, but you'll just turn this loose it'll drain out right here and then you can like catch it in a cup or something and you can see the the water and the fuel ratio there's a certain threshold that it can handle but with this being unplugged we know for a fact that's why my code was there so it's me it looks like somebody this actually looks pretty new so i think someone may have done a a pm or something on this and just you know didn't clip this on correctly so i'm gonna try to get this off without getting back out from under here to go get a tool oh i need a tool one second you guys get to stare at the engine for a minute okay i'm back i'm back so uh hope you guys can see what i'm doing here so if you look right here there is a metal uh, hold down like a pin that goes in and it clips in this piece it clips in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, gonna line the plug up the way it goes like that you want to make sure that it's pushed all the way on and then you're gonna take this and clip it right on just you want to make sure you get in those little guide the little slots that it goes in just like that Bam, and now that's on there good. All right, well, that was a pretty simple one. I hope that was helpful for somebody. That's a lot easier than getting the, uh, the laptop all hooked up and everything. So just remember those two codes or three codes. One is the, uh, is the wire signal, one is uh, water and fuel. And now what we're gonna do is start it up and just see if the codes are still populating. I mean, they're gonna populate, but what we're looking for is this little light to be off. And there you have it. No code, no light. So now the codes will still be stored, but they're old because it stores up to blue light. 10 or 15 coats and they'll stay in there so as long as we got that light off we know we're good everything's all right and we'll be running so i hope that was helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it and have a good one